Hello everyone. Welcome to another gold nugget, J-A-W underscore success. If this is your first time to the channel, let me welcome you. It is my desire for every person who like and subscribe to this channel, get a little nugget that they can use or apply to their life and by doing so become better. It is my desire to personally grow and at the same time help somebody else to grow, right? By sharing little nuggets. And this nugget that I'm sharing with you today is one that for me is an opportunity miss, but I promise you I won't do it again. The opportunity that I miss came years ago when I just left. Um, school, secondary school at the time. I couldn't read, but uh, persons thought that, that I was good at copying. You know, for those who don't know what copying is, I was good at looking at other people's work and, and write it off and those kind of stuff or have my friends help me. So it came across that I could read, right? Um, but I couldn't. The long and short of it is that when I left school, I got a job with a company or, uh, yeah, it was a company named Lamuda Export. It was one of those kind of 807 factory company that built or sew garments for companies like Sierra Lee, Kenneth Products and Ian's and those kind of companies, right? It was back in the day when factories run Jamaica. I was given the opportunity to learn how to use a forklift. And because at the time I was trying to, to educate myself, I started to go to evening classes. I started to, to do some Jamal work. Um, it was one of those kind of occasions where I, I said no. I didn't want to learn how to use a forklift. I was getting the, the experience for free, but I missed the opportunity. So fast forward to years after, I'm living in a new country without a job and somebody asked me the question, can you drive a forklift? And I said to myself, look at that. Years ago, when I got the opportunity to learn how to, to drive a forklift for free of charge, I said no. Now I am asked to drive a forklift and the cost to do it is so expensive. Well, Relatively, a dollar is a dollar in each country. But now that I am here and I ask the question, how much is it to, to do the lessons for Farcliffe? And I was told, well, um, the lesson by itself can run you into about 800 quid, which is pounds, 800 pounds. And that doesn't include um, the exam fee and those kind of stuff. I said, what? How am I supposed to, to get that money not being employed and the guy suggested well what you can do is work for a company that need a forklift driver and they will pay for you to to get it done now the, i would love that but what what the reason for this nugget is to advise you you know you might be at this place now where you have to make a decision don't miss the opportunity once it's free grab it you might say i don't need it but knowledge and information it can never be too much all right grab the opportunity gain the experience because it will serve you in the long run let me let me divert just a little to show you that what you learn now or what you have learned in the past is the bedrock the foundation of what you you can escalate to do in the future or what you need to to get done in the future okay every dream is built upon information knowledge or um, practice that took place in the past you know you you for you to 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 gain that kind of experience and move and add to it success is doing the little little things and because they add up 
It's not the overnight winning of the lottery or, a matter of fact, even if you go on one of those reality shows, whether it be America Got Talent or no, you're going to have to go through the rounds. And even after the rounds, you're still going to have to go to the studio as and, and the interviews and stuff and, and get the work done. So certain things is not overnight. So what am I saying to you? The opportunities that you have, use them. Gain them. Grab them, use them well, because at the end of the day, those are what your success is going to be built upon. Those little, little things. Now, I want to say to you that when I know something, right, it's, it's, it doesn't affect me. It's the unknown that affects me. For example, when you look at the package of a cigarette, it tells you what cigarette can do to you. It will kill you. The Surgeon General said that this product causes all of these kind of maladies and it will kill you. But yet still, persons take up cigarette and smoke them by the day, by the dozens each day. Why? Because, guess what? They know what it can do. It's the uncertainty that, 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 that people are afraid of. So the future is not certain, but you can make it certain by what you learn in the past, what you what you build upon. Somebody might say, my past is a shady past. It's, it's messed up. Well, start from today. You, you, you still have some journey ahead of you. And once you have a future, this now becomes your past. All right? So today, success is tomorrow's. All right? History, so to speak. But it is the success that you will need to have further success tomorrow. It is like the impact of yesterday on today. Last week's failure, right, if not properly managed, will result in this week's failure or continuous failure. But a fixing of last week problem, a fixing of last week failure will result in um, success this week. You know, it's like gaining a high school certificate, going on to a bachelor's, moving on to an undergrad study, or even to the doctorate level, or as you would put it. It's growth. It's continuous growth. Little, little success. But if you feel to grab the opportunity to learn for free, that which is in the present. And, and, and here is where I am talking. And I hope some student is listening to this. When you are going to school and your mom and your dad is paying for the school fee, that's an opportunity. You're learning. You're getting the opportunity to learn something for free. Grab it with both hands. Use it wisely. Because in the future, when somebody asks the question, it's going to be a question not based on your future. Nobody knows your future, but they're always going to judge you on your past. For example, when you send out an application for a job, they're not judging you based upon your future. They don't know how well you can do. But when they look at where you have been, what you have done, the opportunities that you have made use of, they will say to themselves, we can take a chance on you. So unless you um, build the present, unless you build um, the present, the future is going to look bad. All right? So build on the, the present. Yeah, the past is already there. And you might have, like me, you missed the opportunity to learn how to use a forklift. And now being asked to use it. Yes, you missed the opportunity. But I want to share with you. Never miss the opportunity to learn something for free. Alright? Why did I put the free in there? Because when you have to do it in the future, it will cost you more. It will. It will cost you more. Just like I'm told that I would have to fork out 80, um, 800 quid to, to learn something that I should have learned in the past. It's a similar, you will, it will cost you more. So when I say free, I'm not necessarily talking about absolutely free. I'm talking about using the present moment when it will cost you less. It's like the opportunity cost of money or the time value of money. If you, if you don't use the, the, the opportunity right now, you lose it. And whatever you've lost in the past, it's going to cost you more to regain it in the future. 
So use the opportunity well. Don't kill the future dreams by having a present that is not maximized. All right? God bless you. Have a good one. Like, subscribe, share, and see you in the next video.